A very important organ system in the body is called the excretory system. The excretory system consists of a group of organs that remove unnecessary materials or wastes from body fluids. Note that the large intestine, which removes solid wastes, is not considered as part of the excretory system. It is part of the digestive system. The three main parts of the excretory system in the body are the lungs, which remove waste gases like carbon dioxide and excess water vapor, the skin, which releases waste dissolved in perspiration, and the urinary system, which removes waste in the form of urine. We'll start by looking at the lungs. If we have a look at this little section here, and zoom in on it, these air sacs surrounded by capillaries are called alveoli. A waste product from cellular respiration, carbon dioxide or CO2, is dissolved in the blood coming into the lungs. This diffuses from the capillaries into the alveoli. And it goes into tubes called bronchioles. And from the bronchioles, into larger tubes called bronchi, and then through the trachea, and finally out of the body. A small amount of water from the blood also enters the alveoli as water vapor. And like CO2, moves into the bronchioles, and from there, through the bronchi, trachea, and out of the body. When the air is very cold, the water vapor we breathe out condenses into tiny droplets, which we see as fog. This is why people say we can see our breath when it's really cold out. Now we'll look at another organ involved in excretion, the skin. The skin has two to five million sweat glands distributed all over our body. These enable us to perspire. The main purpose of perspiration or sweating is to cool the body when it's too hot. When water in sweat evaporates, it takes heat away from the body. And although sweat is mostly water, it does contain some dissolved substances such as urea and lactate, as well as some minerals. Urea and lactate are waste products. Minerals include sodium or salt, potassium, calcium, and others. Most of the excretion in our body takes place through the urinary system. Let's look at the major organs and parts of the urinary system. The word renal means having to do with the kidneys. The renal artery branches off of the large artery called the aorta and brings blood from the heart into the kidneys. This is the right renal artery, bringing blood to the right kidney. Here is the left renal artery, bringing blood to the left kidney. Here is the right kidney. Notice kidneys are shaped a bit like a bean. Here is the left kidney. The drawing here has removed the outer surface so we can get a better idea of what it looks like inside. As we'll see, the main purpose of the kidneys is to filter the blood and remove waste products from it. The renal vein takes blood that leaves the kidneys into a large vein called the inferior vena cava and back to the heart. This is the right renal vein, which takes blood out of the right kidney. Here's the left renal vein, which takes blood out of the left kidney. Ureters are tubes leading from the kidneys down to the bladder. They carry urine. This is the right ureter. And here is the left ureter. The bladder is a hollow organ with muscular walls. It stores urine that comes from the ureters. At the bottom of the bladder, there's a valve or sphincter, which can open to let urine out of the bladder. The tube leading out of the bladder is called the urethra. Urine runs through the urethra when the sphincter shown here and a lower one called the external sphincter are both open. We'll start with the whole urinary system and we'll take a close look at a kidney. In later biology courses, you will learn names for all the parts of the kidney and regions within the kidney. A part that we'll look at here is very important. It is called a nephron. Nephrons are very tiny. An average kidney contains up to 1.3 million nephrons. Here is a diagram representing a single nephron. We'll enlarge it a bit. 
Blood from the renal artery enters here. This is blood that hasn't been filtered yet. And blood leaves the nephron in this blue vessel and goes into the renal vein. This blood has been filtered by the nephron. Through this duct, urine leaves the nephron, goes into the center of the kidney, and then to the ureter. Unfiltered blood goes through the nephron, where it is gradually filtered. The filtered blood leaves the nephron and goes into the inferior vena cava and back to the heart. We'll look at this process again. The liquid filtered out of the blood is called the filtrate. As it passes through these yellow tubules, it becomes urine. Urine contains wastes that are filtered from the blood. The process is actually much more complex than what is shown here. You'll learn more about this in later biology courses. We'll summarize by saying that unfiltered blood enters here, filtered blood leaves here, and urine leaves here. Urine from the nephrons passes into the center of the kidney, and it fills this region and makes its way down the ureters and into the bladder. As time goes on, the bladder gradually fills with urine. And as more urine enters it, the bladder expands to hold it. After a certain amount of expansion, nerves are triggered, which go to the sphincter and cause it to open. When this sphincter and a lower one, controlled voluntarily, are both opened, urine leaves the bladder and it is emptied. In this way, the urinary system has removed or excreted many waste products from our body.